paper lovers, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be using, going to be making a card using the brand new set of Scrappy Mom set. Oh my gosh, using the brand new Scrappy Mom set called Spring Fair, and this has got some really cute sentiments on there. It'll be great for using for on scrapbooks with like fair pictures or carnival pictures. It has a lot of cute sentiments to use with animals. Super cute. A couple of the sentiments go great with the new Scrappy Mom's pinwheel die. I have a video showing how to use this die and a banner that I made with the die if you're interested. Okay, so let's get started. We're using the sentiment that says, Hey Chicky. And this is a great spring card. It could be used for Easter, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be to let somebody know you're thinking of them. So I'm starting with a piece of paper tray ink white cardstock that's four and a quarter by eight and a half. I've scored it in the middle at four and a quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and Crease my card with my bone folder. Okay. Um, all my pattern papers and colors I got from the Cricut Imagine Blossom cartridge. One of my absolute favorites and it's perfect for spring cards. Okay, so I've got my first mat, which is a blue color and it's four and one eighth by four and one eighth. And then this yellow paper with white flowers and it's got little um, bits of pink and blue in it. It's four by four. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that to my blue layer. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and put that down on my card. If I can pick it up. I have got to clean my mat. I had somebody suggest um, the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers, and I just so happened to pick some up the other day when I was at Target. So I am going to go ahead and give that a try because my mat is super gross and sticky. Okay, so that's going to go right there. I love it already. I love these colors. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. Now, on the Cricut Imagine, there is um, some stock images on there, and one of them is this scalloped oval. So I sized this at 4 inches and then filled it with the same blue color that was on that mat. And then I went ahead and made another one, exactly the same 4 inches, and I filled it with this green and white check pattern that has little pink flowers in it. And then I just trimmed off this bottom piece. And I'm going to adhere this down to the bottom of my oval. Before I do, I'm going to add some grass. So what I did was I made just a little green rectangle in my Imagine. And then I just trimmed a piece off like this. And then with my little scissors, I just made little fringy at the top so it looks like grass. So I'm going to go ahead and put some ATG along the bottom of my grass. And then set that down. And then I'm going to stick my scallop right like that. And then I'm just going to take those same little scissors and trim out this excess grass. So there's the bottom of our little scallop. We can go ahead and hear that down. And we're going to line this up. Okay. Cute. Now, for my favorite part, I cut the little chicky from the Simply Charmed cartridge, and she is found on page 35. I cut her at two inches, and I didn't cut the layer that would cut out her eyes and mouth because I wanted to stamp it with a peachy keen stamp, and I used the Happy Lash Assortment PK460. Um, my best friend sent me these for my birthday. I used this little chicky face right here. It's a three-quarter inch size. And I just took my white gel pen and filled in her mouth, 
and then a, a white, um, excuse me, a yellow uh, pen that I had just to color in her beak a little bit so it would be a different shade of yellow. And then I chalked up her cheeks and then added some freckles. So that's my little chickie. And I'm going to go ahead and stick her down. And she's just sitting in the grass with a big old smile on her face. Now I'm going to go ahead, and she's a little bit crooked or off center. Let me see if I can lift this up carefully. There. Feel better about that. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to, oh, she's stuck to my mat. I'm going to go ahead and stick her down to my card. Oh my goodness. I'm running out of ATG. I'm not going to press it all the way down because I forgot my sentiment is going to tuck under there a little bit. Okay, so what I did for my sentiment was I just made a little rectangle of the same yellow color and I just stamped the Hey Chicky and then I notched out the edges here and I'm just going to put some adhesive right on that part because this is going to hang off of our card and this card will fit in a regular a two size envelope so if you want you can hang your sentiment off of your card a little bit which is you know just a little different and fun because you have five and a half inches here to fit in the envelope so you've got a little room to play so there's our little sentiment hey chicky and now I'm going to add a couple flowers and I'm using these recollection flowers from Michaels and I've got a pink one that I'm going to stick down let me just grab some glue dots stuck to everything. Okay, so I'm going to get this on a glue dot. And I'm going to stick this right in this bottom corner. And let me grab another glue dot. And then I have a smaller darker pink one. And that's going to go right in the center. And then I have a lighter pink one. going to go right up here on our sentiment. And then I have some of these pink um, rhinestone bling from Michaels also. And I think I'm going to use the light pink one. Stick it right in the center of my flower. And then on this one I think I'll use the hot pink one. And then one more step. I'm going to add a little baker's twine bow to my chickie's head, and this is Lemon Drop Baker's Twine. And I'm going to add that right to the top of her head. Got to have a little bow on my card. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! So like I said, you could stamp the inside if you wanted with an Easter greeting, or just thinking about you, or anything you want. So there's my little chickie card. Look at that little face. Okay. Alrighty guys, thanks everybody for watching and have a blessed day.